everybody. So tonight I am back at the Shili Night Market here in Taipei, Taiwan. So this is the biggest Taiwanese night market ever. It is massive. I've been here before and I've showed you guys some stuff, but today I'm going to be doing something special. And surprisingly, I've actually never been to of the stands here that are Michelin rated. So I think that's pretty interesting. Normally I just come here and kind of like just buy whatever I think is like looks good. But I really want to try out some of the Michelin stuff today and share that with you guys. So let's go on ahead and check it out. Yay! I actually had to ask for some direction to find this first place because this is kind of a maze. Suling is really like the biggest night market, so there's just so much stuff. Oh, look at that! That's the uh, 3D screen. It looks cooler in person because it looks like it's gonna jump out at you. That's so cute. Okay. All right. So this is the first spot, Mission and Guided. This is. Oh. This is the noodles. Look at this. Wow. So the stuff here is fairly like really simple. It's just noodles with some sauce. This is cold peanut noodles that he's making. So it's just all these noodles and there's a sauce that goes on top. And then there's some toppings that goes on it as here well. Here it is. And I asked for a lot of spicy. So I think that's the spicy spot right there. So yeah, my first spot is gonna be this. Good friend noodles. Let's try it out. This is the first dish. We're gonna mix it up real well. This is only 70 NTD. So it's like, like $2 really cheap for Michelin. Oh yeah, let's try this. Ooh, here we go. Long noodles too. Mm. Ooh. Oh my god, I taste that spice. Mm. Yeah, it's, got, it's got a really thick like peanut butter flavor to it. It's very good. It's very refreshing. The only take I have on it that I can improve is I wish there was more toppings. I don't even care about the meat. I just want more cucumbers because I feel like the cucumbers really give it like that extra like crispiness. Mm. So the sauce is amazing. I feel like the sauce, I can use it for like meat, dipping, fries even. Oh, but this is delicious. Nice. This is the next spot. A A A Thin Noodles. Since 1980, Michelin recommended. So there's a big thing right here. They're known for their vermicelli noodles. So it's a small bowl like that. And it's I like these places. They're very fast. Very like to-go-ish kind of vibe. Here are the noodles. I got pork intestines in mine. It's a very kind of like gluey glop. But trust me, the texture is great. So first, I just want to say how cute the seating area is. It's like a like old style Taiwanese classroom, and they also have some sauce on the table as well. I'm gonna add some of the saute sauce into my bowl here. Okay, let's mix this up. So you can see the texture is more like a slurry. This isn't a very like thin noodle. This is a, I mean, it, yeah, it's thin noodle, but the uh, soup it's very clumped together. Let's try this out. Get one of the uh, pork intestines. Here you go, perfect bite. Mm. That's good. The flavor is amazing. It's just this kind of lacks in texture because it's very gooey. But I'm used to it because um, I know how Taiwanese style vermicelli is. But for those of you who like texture, you might not like this as much. Mm. But the flavor is very good. And the pork intestines are very tender. Very clean, very well. Mm. This next stand is this. This is a clay black pepper oven bun. Look at that. The way he's making it is so cool. They freshly fold it up right in front of you. Ooh, look at that. The clay pot bun. Oh my god, this thing is hot. I'm trying to break it in half. Like, oh, oh, look at how juicy that looks. I look. have a feeling though that they could sell the so picture because they talk about Marvin. Oh wow, they talk about that. It's piping hot. Oh my goodness. The bread actually 
It tastes like the uh, tandoori uh, chicken texture. It's a little bit dry, but inside it's so, so juicy. Mm. The spring onions, the meat. I don't get much of that black pepper signature flavor as much as I want. But, mm. oh, it is good. Oh. Oh, it's so good. Mm. If someone else is live, I won't be here. Oh. Jesus Christ. It's, it's so able, meaty as well. Mm. I think it's a strong yeah. mm. I've beaten everybody that's been like to go to jail. I have no more competition, man. It's that easy. You gotta punch the lines so hard and script the content. They're all made accurate, by the way. The bread is a little bit dry, but I surprisingly like it. Everywhere in public, paid after. Midnight is so juicy, you need something to like kind of balance the flavor. Mm. 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 Oh, wow. This is 70 yen too. Two dollars for this is so worth it. one more mission in star place and it's closed today so i think i'm gonna have to come back sometime and this is what it is god man what are the chances that i come and it's closed i'm so sad so i'm not gonna i mean i think that's all for like eating today at suling but i'm gonna come back to vlog that one because i'm so sad it closed down but we're gonna go play some games now and maybe i'll find some other food that i want to try out because i'm still excited i want to play some games and eat some more snacks Alright guys, I'm about to play a gun game here. Oh my god, I don't know. I suck, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, really? Yeah. Did you give Got some fried milk here. These are so good. Mmm. Oh, creamy. Mmm. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Mm. It tastes like fried candy. <laughs> It's like one dollar for each good. Oh, mm, sausages in Taiwan are so good. Mm. Oh. Mm. Mm. Look how big they sell these sausages here for. This entire thing was only two dollars USD too. It's crazy. Mm.